Hi fellow Lagoonies, it's your pal Nerfenstein here and today I'm doing a little hints and tips video of things that I have found that might make your job playing Raccoon Lagoon a little bit easier. And I'm going to start with a wee uh, fishing tip here. Just because we're near the water, cast your line and then tug it in front of the fish and you will catch them quicker. So you cast it out and then if it's gone too far, pull it back just slowly don't yank on it so that it uh, comes in and if you see a fish heading in the general direction just pull it in front and you'll catch them quicker I've caught a lot of fish this way it saved me a lot of time so hopefully it will save you a lot of time as well if you get it in front of them generally speaking they will go for it and if they're off to the side you can actually move to the side and it will pull a little bit to the side So that's uh, tip one, fishing. Hopefully that will help you catch loads of fish really quickly. It certainly helped me. And you might not realise that you can do that. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can differentiate your chests. So later in the game, you're going to end up with a lot of chests or certainly multiples anyway and plucking them out can be a pain if you don't know uh, what is where this is my little fisherman hut so you can see the chests look the same in the inventory and if you've got multiples it makes it hard to know what's what so you paint them so this one here I know it's got a certain thing this one here I know it's got a certain thing and this one here I know is rubbish because I painted it black it's got all of my garbage in it that I know I don't need so it saves me accidentally opening that chest same here I know this one's got all my gems in it because I painted it red and it differentiates it from the one that I know has got my stones in it that I left brown so that's a, that's a pretty good tip I find if you hover over it you can see that although in the inventory you can't see the different colors as soon as you put your uh, finger over it they appear and it will help you hopefully differentiate things there you go top tip for uh, using chests save you going through them all to find out what you've got you might not have known that I hope that's uh, of help I should say I'm going to assume that you know you can paint everything which is why things are different colors I've got my paint down here and you don't need to put the paint on the ground uh, if you don't want to uh, I'll show you over here we'll paint this little boat and we'll paint the oar so just get your paintbrush out and dab it in whatever pot so let's go red there we go just saves you getting the pot out That's why I've got them all in the one uh, area. It's like my paint palette. Maybe that's helped you as well. Bink. Now this one's more for people that are just starting out. So we'll chop this tree. So if you hold in the top button, top grip button, you'll pick up one thing at a time but if you hold in the bottom grip button you'll pick up everything it just saves you a bit of time I spent the first Lord knows how long picking things up one at a time until I realized that you could do that so just on the off chance that you don't know um, that's a top tip uh, the other top tip with regards to mining the green ones usually give you the gravel type stones so these ones granite and sometimes you'll get copper so if you're looking for something other than those two things I just avoid the green ones now I've got so much granite that I don't really uh, need to and it saves me a bit of time these ones here are usually marble and silver and the blue ones which I'll find for you now 
are usually the uh, obsidian, which is quite hard to get, obsidian and gold. So if you're looking specifically for obsidian, don't waste your time trying the green and the red gems. Go straight for the blue, otherwise you're just hacking away for nothing. The blue one, so it's probably going to be obsidian or gold. Obsidian and gold later in the game will probably be your bane because they're quite hard to come by. Oh, and the gems are random, so yeah, you will get gems um, from any of them from time to time. I hate doing that. I love raccoons. <laughs> I hope we don't have them here in Australia, and I really wish we did. If you've got them, you probably wish you didn't. Uh, the other top tip of course if you uh, have your chests I try and keep everything neat so this one here is fish and seaside type stuff it just makes it easier to find things so mining we've got the red we usually get marble the green we usually get granite or copper and the blue we usually get um, obsidian and gold which you will need the gems appear at random in various uh, chunks of stone usually the red and the blue I think but now and again maybe the green as well yeah there we go okay so a top tip for beginners who might not realize if you see this symbol here this is the bait symbol. If you throw the ball of bait that you can buy in the fisherman's hut into there, you'll get more fish rise to the top. And if you use the fishing trick that I showed you earlier, you will snag them all in no time. If you're just beginning, don't make my mistake. Don't pick every single thing up that you see straight away. Uh, most people are probably going to do that because it is a collecting game. But you only need one of each thing to take to the town hall and I'm going to show you that now I should have said as well you can decorate uh, anywhere so this is my little starting place I like the toy stuff because that's the stuff that I would collect in Animal Crossing so you don't have your own house but you, you do have an entire uh, island to decorate the only thing is when you're decorating I'll show you now if you put something too close to the buildings at the moment and they're working on this now uh, it will pop off and end up in your mailbox so make sure things are sort of you know a good distance away from your main building like I had the uh, I had the little seat on the porch there and it it just doesn't last in fact the seat that I had around the side is gone so I'm assuming that's in the letterbox this is just the uh, night phase coming on. It just kicks you over into the next day. Each day is a 20 minute lot, just in case you didn't know that. And then everything refreshes. So everything is there now, next day, go around and pick it up. I'm assuming you know to shake the trees to get the fruit out. Uh, or if you chop the tree down, the fruit will fall. Just make sure you pick it up first because sometimes it disappears. And if you're just starting out, you're watching this and you're literally you're just about to play it or you've just started collect everything you will need it at some point later on not so much you can be a little a tad more picky this is a top tip i'm sure this goes without saying but just on the off chance that you don't know don't be cruel to your animals or the nims that are on the island because if i pick him up now and throw him he's going to poop and that poop is forever you cannot get rid of it I've got one poop that actually this guy did uh, and it's because I picked him up and dropped him when I first started playing I didn't realize and uh, he pooped and now it uh, haunts me it's in a chest in my starting area so unless you want an island uh, covered in poop don't be cruel to your animals another uh, super beginner top tip the fountain will give you hearts every year you can see the hearts around it you just need to put in there whatever it's asking you for uh, so I'll show you that now just so that you can see so again same with uh, picking things up use the bottom button it will pick everything up top button will pick up uh, one thing 
So rather than going, which is what I did for the first how many hours, one, two, three, pick up everything. It saves you a lot of time. Now I said I'd take you into the town hall and I completely forgot. So this is a town hall. I'm not going to go all the way down there in case it counts as a spoiler. But the idea is that you come in here and you collect things and you pop them in this bowl. These pictures will be black and white when you start. You fill them in and then you'll get a special uh, item that you can decorate your character with. So special bangles, uh, ears, hats, all that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. The further on I got into the game when you're collecting furniture, which is why I said don't pick everything up that you come across furniture wise. Um, I found it easier to, to do groups. So I would come in and look at what furniture is needed and then get the stuff I needed to get that furniture and then bring them in one at a time. Otherwise I tended to forget, which is why I've got a chest uh, full of, full of uh, crap. <laughs> that I don't need. Okay, I'm trying to think of top tips. I'll de decorate things however you want. This is my little community park that I've made. And you can walk through things, so it doesn't doesn't really it doesn't affect your uh, mobility through your town. I've got a little graveyard here just because I thought every town needs a graveyard. <laughs> and again a beginner's top tip, I'm sure you already know. Anything that's uh, been kicked off, so like I said the bench from the fisherman's thing will end up in here anything that you've dropped make sure you collect that stuff okay a top tip for farming that will make your lives easier here we go i tend to keep my fields uh planted and the reason for that is well, i picked this yesterday but the reason for that is if i get a visitor to my island they can help themselves i've already planted everything there i'm gonna grab some wheat seeds just because i've got lots of mushrooms and lots and lots of apples now your plow lines are six, so groups of six will do an entire plow line. Okay, so you've got your plow line, and this is how I do it. I start at the end, grab the entire lot of seeds, and then tap the top button as I'm working my way backwards. You don't have to be uh, precise here because it'll pull it into the hole anyway. So tap, move, 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 move. There we go, and that's an entire row done. So much quicker than going along and putting them in one at a time. Same for watering. I usually wait until it pops. I actually do two rows at a time, so usually I would do there, then there, there, then there, like that. You'll get two rows done in no time at all. And then I usually work my way back to the beginning and uh, just do it again. Hopefully that is uh, some top tips for sowing your seeds. But definitely dropping the seeds in that manner is so much faster than doing them one at a time. Because it doesn't really matter where you drop them, it will pull them into the nearest hole anyway. Now when you're feeding your animals, have we got any wheat? Okay, so let's feed this guy. The other cows over there, usually I make them make sure that they're in a group and then just feed them one after the other and then collect at the end. It's a little bit little bit quicker. Okay, and then just pick them all up at once in inventory. Same with every animal. Uh, if you're just playing and you're stuck, a top tip for the fencing situation. I think it might be the chicken that you have to fence off first. It's not a fence, it's to pull them into this paddock here. So you just lure them. If you've got something that they want, let's see if I've got a corn. So you take one and then they'll follow you wherever you go. And that's how you lure the animals into the paddock, just in case uh, you're confused. Same with the uh, level through there where the, um, I think it, the nims trapped on the bridge with the llamas. Same thing, lure the llamas away from the bridge and then the nim will give you the heart or whatever it is yeah i built a chicken coop for my chickens it took me ages in the corner and popped them in it and i was like oh no <laughs> just lure them here once you open the areas uh, like this is open it will make it easier for you to travel between them as well another top tip mushroom steaks so this here i thought was a light for the longest time and this is where you get your mushroom slices from. It's a tree. 
So it just acts the same as the other trees on the island. There you go. Eight mushroom steaks, just like that. Obviously it goes without saying, if you're desperate for something, like this guy gives out seaweed, if I give him a starfish, he'll give me seaweed. So if you're desperately looking for something and you don't have it, uh, that's a good way to get a small amount fairly quickly. Now, there is something in this area that might be considered a, a spoiler. So I'm just going to uh, alert you to that now before I show you what it is. It's a hidden room. So if you don't want to know where the hidden room is, skip ahead 30 seconds and I won't spoil it for you. If you do want to know where the hidden room is and there's lots of treasure in the hidden room, the gold furniture is in there. Keep watching and I will show you now. I just went, went that way to throw people off. It's through here. And this place here is usually full of gold furniture. Obviously I picked that up. But just in case you didn't know that this was here. It's hidden by the... It's the largest waterfall in the area. I think the other waterfalls are literally just stone. So don't waste your time. It's that one next to the bear. Eels. This is where you get eels. It's one of the spots. You'll also get them in the uh, the forest area. I spent the longest time trying to find eels at the start of the game. I was like, oh. Bink. Oh yeah. When you're <laughs> when you're going through your inventory, make sure you're faced away from the chest. Otherwise, it will pick the chest up, and that can become a little bit annoying. I don't know if it does anything, but I love giving them a wee cuddle. <laughs> so happy. What else might be of use to you? Uh, so later in the game, there's an artist and she does portraits of animals. I have found it easier to do this and just carry whatever animal it is to her because trying to lure something all the way through the mines, nightmare fuel. So, uh, yeah, I just do this. I assume you could probably do this with your chickens and things as well. I've never tried to lift a cow. Let's give it a go. No. <laughs> Something as well, when the lightning's happening, check out your uh, nims and your little uh, animals. They all get terrified. It's adorable. See? Uh, in this area, if you're looking for wool at any point, sometimes you'll find wool laying around. Okay, I'm going to use this little explorer guy as an example. It's glitching for me at the moment. What usually happens is there's a map. You find the map on the ground. It's not here anywhere. I've already looked numerous times. And then you give it to him and a chest will appear somewhere. You'll then need to use one of your tools. Spoiler, skip for 10 seconds if you don't want to know. It's the boomerang to hit the chest uh, and take out whatever treasure is in it and then give it to him. But as I say, it's so glitching for me at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, he's adorable. Love him. If you see the twine thing, it's the cat that gives you the twine. Give the cat a catfish, I think it is. And he'll give you the twine. Uh, there's three different types of wood that you can get. So there's your soft wood that you get from the fruit trees. They're the sort of little half ones. The pine trees give you the medium wood. It's got like a little stick sticking out of the log. And the dead trees, so the grey ones, will give you the hard wood. Over here, there is a legendary fish. You need to throw the bait in there before you can catch it. And it can be a bit of a pain to catch, but just keep trying pulling the rod up at different times, early in the piece or late in the piece. And the pulling of the rod in front of it will also help you uh, with this. I'll just point out, in case you don't know, things like this serve no real purpose, purely aesthetic. They don't really do anything. As I say, you can walk through them. But I just like it. I'm going to fence in that entire thing eventually. Okay, coming up in this section, if you haven't opened it yet, it's going to be a little bit of a spoiler for how to get through this level. It's the volcano level. So if you don't want to know, skip ahead. Uh, I'll put up an end spoiler image so you can see if you scroll really quickly <laughs> sorry just trying to get away from that guy I suppose it gives time for people to 
decide whether or not they want to know how to get through this level. If you're stuck on it and you don't know how to get your chili, which your chili is on this level, uh, I'd like to thank my uh, questing pal R. Basto for helping me with this because I was stuck on this myself and I wandered and wandered and wandered like a fool before it became really obvious what I was supposed to do. And here is your hint for what you're supposed to do. There's a stream of water and it's turned the lava to rock. Ah, bing, there we have it. As soon as he showed me that, I was like, oh, you muppets. So any of the lava in here, just use your watering can. It'll turn it to rock and you can get to whatever, including this area here. And this is where you'll find the chili. And this is also where you'll find the lava rock fish that you will need at some point in the game. And we're in. I always grab obsidian wherever I see it because it is a pain in the bum to get later on. And here we have it. This is where the legendary lava rockfish is. You throw in the uh, bait ball and you'll see it appear. It's massive. And as I said, the fishing trick will work will help you at least. Okay, spoilers over for that level. I should have pointed out in that uh, level that we just showed, the spoiler level, whether you watched it or not, uh, there's part of a phoenix egg in there as well. So you will need to go in there to get that. And it's not really a hint or a tip, it's just something that I've noted while I'm playing. This guy here, I was convinced, I'd convinced myself that he did something if you were kind to him. And I've given him so many fish. Don't do that, folks. Doesn't seem to do anything. He just gives you honeycomb. I was like, oh, he's going to, like, something special is going to happen. Oh, look what's happening here. Um, yeah. The other thing that I did, and again, this might be cons considered a spoiler by some. So, uh skip ahead to where it says the spoilers finished if you don't want to know it's to do with the secret item that you will find uh, in the mine level later in the game ready okay so you'll find a musical instrument and it's on the broken bridge it's on the opposite side of the broken bridge in the mine level i should have shown you while we're in there uh, and you'll get it with your boomerang which you get later in the game it does nothing I'll show it to you. It literally sits in your inventory. It's a theremin. I took this thing all over the world. Every island, every single place that I thought it might do something and played it. And then I actually messaged the dev and said, I don't want to know what it does. I just need to know yes or no. Does it do anything? No. <laughs> It doesn't do a thing. It literally takes up a slot in your inventory. You can't put it in a chest. It just sort of annoys you sitting there. So cute though it is, don't waste your time like I did wandering around aimlessly with that thing. Okay, I think that is the main uh, hints and tips that I've discovered whilst playing this amazing game. I'm so many hours in. I do, this isn't really a hint or a tip. This is what I do. It just reminds me of what's in there. I've put the main sort of plinths that are for sale in the shop outside the shop so that I know that's where all the wood stuff is in here. The red ball, by the way, you'll find either in a gift or laying around and it's just the dog or wolf. It doesn't seem to do anything. You can't actually play fetch with it or anything. And we're back. That's it. If I think of any other hints and tips or come across any, I will let you know. If you're looking for the recipes, by the way, a really great place to find those is on Reddit. Uh, other users post screen caps of them. So if they're not in the, in the uh, restaurant when you need a specific recipe, go on Reddit and look up Lagoon recipes and I'm sure that someone will have posted them. Well, I hope you found some of these uh, little hints and tips useful. I wish I had known these at the beginning of the game. It would have saved me hours and I hope that I have saved you hours. 
enjoy the game it is a wonderful wonderful thing and any bugs that you're experiencing the devs are on it they are fantastic they're in touch with the community and they are trying to fix things so we can't ask for more than that happy lagooning folks i'm a lagoonie nerfenstein the lagoonie out <laughs>